My name is Sean Westrope. I am the CEO of Kepler Energy. I found a shareholder and investor. I have spent a 30-year professional career as an engineer, delivering common sense solutions where convention has been unable to. The question of providing economic tidal power is no exception. Three eminent professors at Oxford Engineering Department, Guy Holsby, who leads Oxford's Tidal Energy Research Group, Martin Oldfield, Emeritus Professor of Aerodynamics, and Malcolm McCulloch, Professor of Power Engineering, found the answer. All are directors of Kepler, along with myself and Peter Dixon, previously the strategy partner for Deloitte. The answer is to form a three-dimensional truss, where each truss member is a hydrofoil. The transverse horizontal axis water turbine, or thought, forms a very simple modern water wheel installation and that spans across the flow to provide power economically and is sufficiently rigid to resist the loading. Deployed as a tidal fence, it uses less static supports, provides economic use of generating equipment and structural material, all of which has inherently less installation risk. In developing this technology, some additional properties were discovered, which increase return on investment. The physics of blockage permits power output to be magnified significantly by a factor of two or three. This underpins the effectiveness of Kepler's tidal fence system. Systemized construction can be adopted with the use of standard equipment. And as each unit is installed, it starts generating minimising or reducing the need to consider rolled-up interest. The arrangement of hydrofoils as elements of a three-dimensional truss has been globally patented, with patents applied for in 13 jurisdictions and granted in eight. There is an abundance of tidal energy which is predictable and practically everlasting. So why has the industry so far been unable to extract it economically? The search for the highest tidal velocities has limited the true value of this resource, increased cost and investment risk by, res by restricting practical installation to extreme conditions and remote locations. The application of existing conventional turbine technology to an alien marine environment has only served to compound this, providing no sustainable competitive advantage over other sources of energy. The adoption of barrage type solutions are limited by the logistics of creating significant civil engineering structures, this precludes any competitiveness or economic advantage on replication. Kepler's patented technology is able to access lower tidal flows for economic power production, such as the Bristol Channel, and we are the only company that can do this. This is a utility scale technology and our competition are other mainstream generation technologies. Kepler's supply chain partners, Gurit, General Electric, Royal Haskinen DHV, Mojo Maritime, Outran, AMP and Jarrah Hazan, has worked for an extensive period to cost Kepler's tidal fence system. We are confident that we can outturn with costs of between 100 and 130 pounds a megawatt hour. Kepler has recently won a Shell Springboard Award and is currently investing the proceeds to locate a model a suitable site in the Bristol Channel. As a consequence with our supply chain, we have been able to identify opportunities to reduce costs further to between 115 and 90 pounds a megawatt hour. Kepler Energy has demonstrated that the engineering concepts work, confirm the power output curves, and with its supply chain, the manufacturing and installation methodologies to provide commercial costs. Kepler is at the first round funding stage of developing a 30 megawatt tidal fence in two phases. The first will demonstrate the installation and performance of a single unit in the marine environment. The second will extend it to a 30 megawatt tidal fence and provide a project return. This technology has come from a rich heritage of engineering it offers the market competitiveness, export potential, and wider economic benefits, particularly in high-tech materials, that the government has publicly stated it is committed to. 
in its vision of a green economy. If similar levels of support were afforded to Kepler, 20 million, Kepler has investors that will provide the outstanding requirement of 33. My ask is that government work constructively with Kepler to deliver a more competitive and dynamic UK green economy. Thank you. Thank you.